Consider a closed cylinder containing liquid up to the height h, h1. Let h1 be the surface of the liquid from the base of the cylinder. Let there be a hole at a distance h2 from the base of the container. And let the depth of the hole from the surface of the container be h. Clearly, we have h1 minus h2 is equal to h. Now, let's take two points, one at here, one at the surface of the liquid and one at the hole. Let's call that 1 and 2. Applying Bernoulli's theorem, applying, applying Bernoulli's theorem, applying Bernoulli's theorem, we have pressure at 1, pressure energy at 1 plus pressure energy per unit volume plus half rho v1 square that is kinetic energy per unit volume plus rho g h1 that is potential energy per unit volume at the point 1 is equal to that at the point 2 half rho v2 square plus rho g h2 where v1 is the velocity of the liquid at the surface 1 and v2 is the velocity of the liquid coming out of the hole so this is the v2 we must find this v2 this v2 is called the velocity of flux. rho is the density of the liquid but you know the a, let a be the a1 be the area of cross section at the region 1 and a2 be the area of cross section of this hole from from the equation of continuity we have a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 area times velocity is a constant so we have v1 is equal to a2 by a1 times v2 we know a1 is you know a1 is very much greater than a2 so that means this is equal to 0 which means v1 equal to 0 clear so you can take this v1 as 0 now now we have p1 plus this is equal to 0 for half rho 0 square plus rho g h1 is equal to p2 plus half rho v2 let's take v2 as v because we already took v1 as 0 so v2 v square plus rho g h2 so this is equal to taking all the uh, terms to the left that is p1 minus p2 plus this is equal to 0 rho g h1 minus rho g h2 is equal to half rho v square therefore half rho v square is equal to p1 minus p2 plus rho g into h1 minus h2 but you know h1 minus h2 is equal to h that is that is v square is equal to or v square is equal to 2 by rho times p1 minus p2 plus rho g times h so this is equal to v v equal to root of taking 2 by rho to 2 by rho inside 2 p1 minus p2 divided by rho plus 2 rho g h divided by rho cancel this row and row 
the equation become p is equal to root of 2 into p1 minus p2 divided by rho plus 2gh. So this is the expression for velocity of the liquid coming out of the coming out of the hole. And we have since the hole is open to atmosphere, we have this hole is open to atmosphere. So the pressure at P2, P2 will be atmospheric pressure. Therefore, you can take this P2 as A. So V is equal to root of 2 into P1 minus PA divided by rho plus 2 GH. So that's just a special case of the above equation. Not just a special case, but the hole is actually open to the atmosphere. So P2 equal to PA. Now let us consider another case in which in which the lid of the container is open. Since this lid the container is open to the atmosphere. Now we have If it is open to atmosphere, then the pressure in here P1 will be atmospheric pressure Pa. So this term velocity V equal to root of 2 into Pa minus Pa by rho plus 2 gh. So the velocity will all only be root of 2 gh. And this is called a Torres Ellis law. Torricelli's law. That is the velocity of a liquid coming out of a hole in an open container is equal to root of 2 gh. So this is called the Torricelli's law. And the velocity v is also called the speed of efflux. Speed of efflux. This is just an application of Bernoulli's theorem. Clear.